Hello everyone, welcome to another island tour. My name is Cupquake and today we're going to be taking a tour of one of the cutest island themes I have ever heard of. This is Teddy Bear Island. So let's go ahead and land. It looks amazing from up top. I'm so excited. We have made it. We are here. Oh, hello. She looks so adorable. Oh my gosh, I love her outfit. It looks like she has a little ice cream dress on. So cute. Since this is themed Teddy Bear Island, I thought we should bring a gift as well, just for her collection, but I'm pretty sure she has plenty of teddy bears. Oh my goodness, I have just noticed the floor. This is so cute. Let's see what presents we got. Let's open this up. We have a golden seat. Ah, oh, awesome. I don't have this. I'll learn the DIY afterwards. A baby bear. <gasps> a plastic pool. Oh, and a colorful wheel. Thank you so much. So let's go ahead and get started with this tour. Uh, this is already so adorable. Look at the entrance here. I love the purple and pink flowers with the teddy bear in the center. I also love the path. This is amazing. Okay, let's see, where is she taking us first? <gasps> A carousel. Oh my goodness. So I've actually asked the creator some questions already. So this is actually her favorite area. It is her amusement park and there's a little carousel right here. She's made this pattern since she couldn't find a little custom design. I love the way that she did that. Even the pattern on the floor, the tile looks amazing. Let's take a walk through. Oh, it's a little shop. So cute. I love it. She is a big fan of Disney and amusement parks. So <laughs> makes total sense why she has that. I love all the characters of little sweatshirts. And we have a little orchard here. Oh, and that's a really cute idea to have the little oranges with the orange boxes. But here we have, ooh, look at the museum. I love this. I love the way she used the panels for this. That is so cool. And it actually looks like doors these two golden doors and then we have the these statues up here so cool i love that we also have some teddy bears over here so many teddy bears around the island so i don't know how many teddy bears are around the island but she does have some hidden throughout and then we got our gold roses right over there i love it i love the way the museum looks oh wait i lost her where'd she go oh <laughs> I love this. <laughs> the golden toilet with the little plunger. You know, he's sitting on a toilet. <laughs> oh, wow. This is amazing. Seven wonders of the world. We have a nice little Zen garden here. I love the pattern. <gasps> this is so cool. I really love this concept. I haven't seen anything like that of having these displayed as seven wonders. Oh, my goodness. Look at all of these lilies. Oh my, I just have to, I just have to walk through them. So many lily of the valleys here. Let's go ahead and take a nice little, let's take a seat. Oh, it's so beautiful. This is her stargazing area. I love it. Look at the little rug on the bottom too. It's so cozy. Oh my goodness, this is so many lily of the valleys. Ooh, the campsite is right here. I love all the mushrooms. I love the use of all the mushrooms and the floor. It looks so whimsical. Wow. Look at all the mushroom decor. We have a nice little spa area out here. This this area is just so magical to walk through. And I love how she put the little mushrooms on the campsites sign right there. Super cute. Oh my goodness. It's a kawaii cafe. Oh, I love it so much. Kanahe cafe. Oh my gosh, I love it so much. I love the use of the little cherry blossoms back here, the patterns on the floor. This is adorable. This is so sweet. So cute. So she's taking me to the back here. Ooh, we have more use of the Zen garden area here. Ah, yes. Look how beautiful this is. We have 
an infinity onsen. This is awesome. Look at that terraforming to make it look like it is infinity. It's so relaxing here. I love the use of terraforming and also the panels. I'm noticing so many panels that have been used to really create separation in the different little spaces. Ooh, so we have a bunch of different flowers here. We have almost all of the flowers, I believe, in every single color. Ah, this is so cute. The little snowmen. I have never seen these before. Santa sleigh. Oh, that's adorable. Oh, beautiful at night. Oh, I can only imagine with the little presents. And the snowflakes, it's so adorable. Super cute idea to create a little Santa sleigh. So it looks like we have some villagers. Oh, I actually forgot to pull up the map. So here is the map. Let's take a look. We got Whitney, Judy. Oh my gosh, she has the most adorable villagers ever. So that's the layout. Let's continue. So we have a villager right down there. I love all of the flowers. Oh, it's so cute. I love the little pathings. Oh, there's a Christmas tree. The Christmas spirit. This is the villager area. We have some more teddy bears over here. Oh, that's so cute with the toy trains. I was going to say I love the flooring with the vines on the bottom. We have, oh, they're so adorable. Look at them. She has like each and every season and if we continue down this way all of the houses are color coordinated i really love that just really simple little areas for the villagers Ooh, <laughs> someone is fishing forever i wonder if he's caught anything so if we continue on this way we can take a look at the beachfront properties that the villagers have oh this is anka's house i love that she's decorated them specifically for each villager. Wow, that's so cute. Would you look at that? I love this idea. All of the umbrellas, displaying all of the umbrellas. It's so cute. I love this. It's an umbrella path. You know, I really do love displaying the umbrellas, so having them out is just so colorful. We have the shop right here, Able Sisters. And I want to stop right here really quick. Oh, she has a little North Pole here. Right here, we got a little Harry Potter reference. So all of the houses for Harry Potter, she actually has them up in her store. They're her own designs and she lets the villagers choose their own house. How cute is that? So let's continue on this way. Oh, I love it. I love the flooring right here. It looks like a nice little tea area with some donuts and carrot cake. It's the food court, my favorite spot. Food. I love the ramen and sushi displayed. My favorite one is the donut. I'll have one of these, please. Everything just feels so well put together. And the brick kind of reminds me of like chocolate brick. Ah, a little pool. Oh my gosh. It's a Venetian. Whoa, it's so cool. That's amazing. I love that. We even have some art displayed over here. We have some of the villagers' pictures displayed. How cute is that? Just a little area for us to lay down and enjoy all the pictures. It's a photo showcase. Look at how cute. I haven't even seen the one from the wedding event. All right, let's continue on this way. We have a diagonal bridge. Oh, more teddy bear picnic right here. How cute is this arch? Wow, it's so cute. I love it. I love the way that she did the butterflies. Wow, the way that the butterflies lined the path. It's Snow White's garden. Wow, we have so many flowers, flower fields for days. A little area over here to jump and enjoy the waterfall. We have a moon waterfall up here. Oh wow, I could stay here forever. I love that. So cute. Let's run through the flower fields over here. We'll take a look over this bridge. I feel like I should have put a sweater on or something. It's kind of chilly. I'm wearing my summer dress. <laughs> All right, up here we have the rocks. Wow, another Zen garden, but I can appreciate the layout of the rocks. That's a big thing. It's a stone garden. It's a pain in the butt to do, uh, to get all your rocks to spawn right in one area like that. But 
Ooh, we got our little, don't forget your DIY. She probably has everything already. <laughs> this is so cool. <gasps> we got a UFO up here with the different space closets. That is a super cool idea. All the little rocket ship closets. We have a little dog. I love that with a little stuffed animal. <gasps> we'll come down to the beach here. Oh, this is so cute. It's a mermaid grotto. So cute. I love that she actually used the purple uh, candles for this. It accents the ombre very nicely. All right, so we're up at her house. Oh, it's on top of the carousel. <laughs> that is so cute. So her house is actually themed. I'm really excited to take a look at this. It's a kindergarten house. I didn't let you guys know this before, but this island, the theme is made for her unborn child. So this is for her baby boy. So, oh my goodness, look how adorable this is. It's so magical and whimsical. Oh, it's for the baby boy. This makes me so happy. <laughs> so that's why she's sticking with the blue theme. Um, this is uh, the little kindergarten area here. <laughs> we got toys. We have beds for nap time. We have all of the stuffed animals. It's nap time. All right, it looks like we have the kitchen to the right. I love it. I love the little carrot cake. We have some teddy bears who are snacking in here. I really do love the little teapot. It looks like a little knitted sleeve for the teapot. I've never seen that before, but let's take a look around all this to see how it is actually laid out. Oh, I appreciate all of the artwork in here. <laughs> She's probably wondering where I am. Let's catch up. I know we didn't take a look around here. I want to take a look around the whole little room. I feel like that wallpaper really speaks for itself. Ooh, whoa. It's the arcade or the playroom. Oh my gosh, it's so cool. I love all of the posters. We got all the posters here. I love the decision to use the bookshelves in this. It really makes it look like a lot of stuff goes down in this room. We even got chocolate cake here. Super cool. I love the carpet too. Ooh, when we come up, wow, look at that. This is the bathroom. Whoa. I love it. Someone's watching me. <gasps> what? Oh, wow, the masks. Someone is watching me. You know, I always feel like somebody's watching me and I get no privacy. <laughs> I love the flooring and the cherry blossom wallpaper. One of my favorites. All right, let's head down to the basement. Whoa. Oh my goodness. This is a living room. This is amazing. I love everything in here. Wow. Look at the Scorpio. She has so many of the um, astrology. Oh, wait. Can I get through here? Here we go. I just want to sit on the, on the throne. We got the Leo throne here. Look at that. She put it over the chair to make it look like an actual Leo throne. That is so cool. I love this room. I'm so amazed at all of the golds and everything just looks so well. Even the plaques on the wall, so well thought out. Let's go ahead and head upstairs. Ooh, oh my goodness. I have never seen this Christmas tree before. This is a bedroom. Oh, we have all of the backpacks and the outfits on the wall. That is so adorable. The matching little outfits with the backpacks. So thoughtful. I love the rainbow Christmas tree. I can't get over it. And all of the posters, we got the Kiki and Lala poster, the Sanrio posters up there. So cute. I'm delighted with this room. It makes me so happy. Ah, coming outside to such bright and colorful design. It makes me so happy. Let's see if I can wait. I don't know where she went. <laughs> I lost my tour guide. There she is. All right. So where else is she going to take us? We have a little art zone. Ooh, my favorite painting area always makes me so happy to paint. And we got a little clay station right there. Love the layout of this. I love the flooring too. It really looks like it's elevated. Ooh, what's here? 
Ooh, romantic. If only my hubby plays this game. Aww. It's okay. I think we're done. That is it. Everything was lovely. Thank you so much for the tour. So that completes our island tour. I absolutely loved how colorful this island was and knowing the theme of the island beforehand and why she chose it gave it so much more meaning. But we did have some more questions from the creator and I'm gonna read her answers off right now. If you do have a five-star island that you would like me to tour, please feel free to use the link in the description. I would love to come and check out your island. So let's go ahead and get into the interview. So I asked her why did she decide on this theme and her answer was because she is pregnant while playing the game and she wanted her island to be for her baby boy who will be born in August. That's why the color scheme is pastel and theme is baby town or you can also call it teddy bear island because she placed many bear families around the island and she also has a kindergarten home. I also asked her what was the biggest challenge you faced while designing. Her answer was creating a new design that is unique. She knew that she can browse social media for a lot of inspiration, but she wanted to be unique. She has a carousel, a themed cafe, umbrella path, Venetian food court, infinity onsen, which is pretty popular on Reddit, and she's the one who created it. And she knew that some of her designs aren't popular, but she loved to try and combine furnitures, and she did terraforming in her own style. She is at 830 hours of playtime right now, and when she got her five-star island, it was within the first month, and she was quite confused because she was just building and didn't even realize it. Her favorite portion of the island is the carousel because she loves to visit amusement parks, especially Disneyland. And she also said that she's almost visited all Disney around the world and it's only missing Disney Paris. So even in her wedding, she had a carousel in her ceremony. She loves them that much. So I asked if she can give any advice to people trying to get a five star island, what would it be? And her answer was to try to do zoning first. Using some map design programs will help you a lot and have a theme in mind. It's funner if you create something new and not just copy. I totally agree with that. I also asked her if she has any future plans to update and change her island and her answer was that she actually plans to stop playing for a while since her baby boy will be born very very soon. She'd like to focus on her mom duty first so she doesn't have any plans to do anything with her island right now. If all goes smoothly and she has time, she'll come back to playing this island for sure. And I hope that she brings her baby boy to this island to show him what she created for him while she was pregnant with him. Wouldn't that be so adorable? And that concludes our interview. As always, links will be in the description if you want to find the creator and show her some love. So let's go ahead and leave a bunch of hearts in the comment section below, let the creator know how amazing her island is and give her a little bit of congratulations on the baby boy. Thank you all so much for tuning into this island tour. If you would like to see more, we're getting a playlist going right here for some island tours and design inspiration. Also, if you have a Twitch, come hang out on my live streams. I stream every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. And if you miss that, I also have a YouTube channel where I post all of my VODs so you can find them right here to the right. Thank you all so much for watching. See you later. Bye.